as part of Australia's ambitious Land at 116 Phase 1 program. The Australian Army is set to receive a major upgrade to its artillery capabilities with the introduction of the AS-900 self-propelled howitzer. This program, valued at 1 billion Australian dollars, equivalent to 665 million US dollars, is a collaboration between Australia's Department of Defence and Hanwha Defence Australia, and marks a significant step toward modernizing the nation's defense infrastructure. The initiative includes the acquisition of 30 AS-900 howitzers and 15 AS-10 ammo ammunition resupply vehicles, with deliveries scheduled to commence in 2025. The AS-900 is based on a renowned South Korean K-9 Thunder platform, a 52 caliber 155mm self-propelled howitzer that has become a cornerstone of anterior forces around the world. In fact, the K-9 Thunder is one of the most widely used self-propelled howitzers globally, with nine nations in Europe, Asia and the Middle East adopting the system. The AS-9 variant, being developed for Australia, incorporates lessons learned from the global fleet of K-9 howitzers, bringing enhanced maneuverability, protection and firepower to the Australian Army. The K-9 Thunder's operation reliability in various combat environments, coupled with its advanced features, makes it an ideal platform for the AS-9. The Australian variant includes modifications to better suit the nation's defense needs, particularly in terms of protection and mobility in the diverse Australian landscape. With its ability to fire 155mm shells, including high explosive, smoke, illumination, and precision guided munitions, the AES-9 will provide the Australian Army with a flexible and powerful artillery option. The AES-9 Huntsman is designed to quick deployment and enhance survivability in modern combat scenarios. Its ability to reach combat readiness within 30 seconds of receiving a fire mission allows it to rapidly respond to threats and provide critical fire support to ground forces. Equally important is its ability to cease firing and relocate within 30 seconds, reducing its vulnerability to counter-battery fire. This mobility is crucial in avoiding enemy detection and maintaining the element of surprise on the battlefield. The system's primary armament, the 155mm gun, is capable of firing a variety of ammunition types, with ranges up to 30 km using standard high explosive shells and approximately 40 km with rocket assisted projectiles. This long range capability ensures that the AS-9 Huntsman can deliver a fire support across vast distances, making it a formidable asset in Australia's defence strategy. Complementing the AS-9 Huntsman is the AS-10 Ammo Ammunition Resupply Vehicle based on the K-10 platform. The AS-10 is designed to maintain the sustained firepower of the AS-9 in combat by automating the ammunition loading process. This not only speeds up resupply operations, but also ensures that soldiers are protected from enemy fire, as the resupply process can be carried out without leaving the vehicle. The AS-10's ammo design enhances the overall survivability of anterior units, allowing them to operate in high-threat environments with reduced risk. The AS-10 Huntsman's introduction 
is a key development in strengthening Australia's defence capabilities. Martin warfare increasingly demands mobility, protection and rapid response and theory systems to keep up with evolving threats and the AS-9 meets these requirements. Its ability to quickly deploy, fire and relocate makes it well suited for a variety of battlefield conditions, from conventional warfare to counter-insurgency operations. In particular, the AS-9 precision guided munitions will be crucial in modern conflict scenarios where minimizing collateral damage and accurately targeting enemy assets are of paramount importance. This capability will allow the Australian Army to provide targeted fire support with reduced risk to civilians and infrastructure in line with contemporary military doctrine focused on precision warfare. The AS-9 Huntsman is led to arrive in Australia by the fourth quarter of 2024 with full operational capability expected between 2025 and 2027. These vehicles will be produced at Hangwa Defence new manufacturing facility in Greater Geelong, Victoria, marking a significant investment in Australia's defence industry and local job creation. The introduction of the AS-9 Huntsman and AS-10 resupply vehicle is expected to enhance the Australian Army's artillery capabilities dramatically. Once full operational, these systems will provide a modern, mobile and highly effective fire support platform capable of defending Australia's national interests both at home and abroad. The AS-9 Huntsman is part of a broader global trend toward the adoption of the K-9 Thunder platform, which has become the most popular self propelled hauser in the world. Nations such as South Korea, Norway, Finland and India have already integrated the K-9 into their artillery forces, with several other considering procurement. Australia's decision to adopt the AS-9 variant further solidifies the K-9's reputation for reliability and effectiveness in a variety of combat environments. Given its proven operational history and widespread use, the AS-9 Huntsman could also attract interest from other nations looking to modernize their artillery forces. Hangwa Defence's growing footprint in Australia and its local manufacturing capability could position the country as a potential hub for future exports of the platform, especially to regional allies and partners.